All right, yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today, we're going to be going over the fill command right here. And see, this is a really important command as it helps you. It can really help you place blocks qu quicker, help with a lot of builds. It's good stuff, and it's really useful. This is on Minecraft Xbox One Bedrock Edition. I believe this works on Java Edition on PC as well. Let's get into how to use the command. All right, so my first problem here is that I've had some TNT explode, and I want to fill in this top layer without spending 20 minutes doing it by hand. So let's use the fill command. So what you want to do is you want to go to one of the corners of where, what you want to be filled in. So right here, we want to make sure we go a little past it. So right here we want to start the fill so if you click right here you want to make sure you're looking at the block and then you want to hit right on your d-pad and it'll pull up this prompt you want to click on it and then what you want to do is you want to go slash fill which is why we call it the fill command very fitting then you want to hit y or space and you'll see a negative 84 on the side and i like to just type it all in there just how it is so put you see a negative 84 put negative 84 this is the block you're looking at you want to put another space you want to put three another space and then 72 that's basically the xyz coordinates of the block they're looking at so once you have that done hit enter you'll get an error but that's all good because now what you want to do is you want to go to the other side of what you want to fill in so you come right over here uh, we want to look down at this block right here this is the other corner that we're going to fill in you want to hit right on the d-pad to pull up the prompt again and then you want to hit up on the d-pad to uh, pull up your previous command so once you have this up you want to hit y and then you want to, again, you see that negative 117, you just want to put in your coordinates again of the block that you're looking at. So this is just the XYZ, so it's negative 117, 3, 49. You throw that in there, and then you put space, and now it's going to basically ask you what block you want to fill that in with. So right now I'm looking at everything else is sandstone. So we're going to go ahead and simply type in sandstone. You'll see it pop up right here on the side. And there you go, that's literally the entire command. As you can see, sandstone selected, so when I hit enter, it'll say fill, and it'll easily fill all those blocks back up with sandstone very useful instead of spending five five hours filling that in i mean it could i would have done that in five minutes i can just fill it in just like that and another great thing with this command is you can actually add some depth and make giant cubes basically if you want so we're going to use this block right here as the first block that we want to fill in so again we're going to look at it make sure you're looking at the block hit right on the d-pad and then type in slash fill just like last time again once you do that it'll recognize that and it'll give you the coordinates to type in you don't even have to look at anything it'll literally give it to you on the side so negative 87 space four this time because it's one block higher and then 69 wow hilarious and then you want to hit enter after you're done with that and then what you want to do is you want to go to the other side of the cube that you want to make so i'm going to make the cube right here we're going to fill it all the way up right here okay so i have the framework of a giant cube here so i'm just going to break all these it doesn't really matter we'll fill them in here and we want the cube to basically go from over here to up here a giant giant 3d cube so here's what we're going to do we're going to look at this top block right here Again, you want to pull up the D-pad, hit up again, hit up on the D-pad to bring your previous command in, and then hit space, and then again, it'll tell you what to type in, negative 109, so just type that in simply, negative 109, space, now we're 18 blocks high, so type 18, and then space, and then 49, so after 49, you want to put a space, and as you can see on the left there, it shows every single block in the game, basically, and if you hit right on your D-pad, you can actually scroll through all those blocks, as you can see, it scrolls through them all in alphabetical order, but what we actually want to do is, I'm going to make it out of anvil, so I'm going to type in the word anvil, just like this and it'll recognize that it'll show up and if i push and if i push enter everything's entered correctly there make sure you got the spaces right the negatives it'll make a giant cube out of anvils and this is just interesting to look at again this would have taken me like an, an hour or two to place but using that fill command it's very easy very simple okay so it's really cool that we now have this giant cube of anvils but the problem is there's no good way to get rid of all these because if i put tnt there the anvils will survive the blast so you're thinking i'm gonna have to go through and break all these with my hand well, let me tell you, no need to fear, the fill command has got us handled. Let's get into how to remove blocks with the fill command. Okay, so if you want to remove this entire build, you can actually hit right on the d-pad and hit up to your previous command. This is where you filled it all in with anvils, and if you just remove anvil and fill it in with air, this is your previous command that you used to get all the anvils to spawn in, you hit enter, it'll literally remove all of them, because it'll, it'll fill them all with air, so there's nothing there, you can come back down, you can build whatever you want, it's perfect, there's nothing there. And that's basically how you how you remove blocks uh, using using the fill command. It's really useful. Okay, so maybe you don't quite understand the slash fill with air command. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a big chunk out of the earth here. And remember, these commands are very overpowered. If you have redstone builds or anything and they're in the path of this, it will remove them. It'll remove your houses. Be careful using these. You can remove your builds instantly in like two seconds. So just, just, just be careful, everybody. So what you want to do is you want to look at the first block that you want to remove. So I'm looking at it. I'm going to type in slash fill again. As always, that's how we start off our command. And again, it's going to give us the coordinates of the block we're looking at. So we're going to type those in quickly. And again, we're just going to hit enter once we have those three entered. It's going to give us an unexpected error, and that's perfectly fine. And now what we want to do is we want to take a big chunk of the earth all the way over here. So we're going to go look at the bottom block of the earth, which is this piece of bedrock. And now we're going to hit up again to take us back to our previous command. Hit space, and again, it'll give you the coordinates of the block you're looking at, which is negative 170. So type it in what's, what it's telling you. It's really nice that it tells you this. Obviously, you're at level zero, so type zero and then type in 30. And then what you want to do is it'll tell you what block you want to use, and right here you just enter air, 
And there you go, you've typed that in, you hit enter, and you've just taken out a big chunk of the earth, just like that. Again, if you had a house here or any redstone builds, it would all be removed, so just be very careful. And then to fill this up really quickly, you just want to hit right on the d-pad, hit up, and this is the previous command you had, and you can fill it back in with sandstone by just simply typing in sandstone, just like this. And there you go, everything is restored. Unless you have like houses and stuff there, then it would not work. But yeah, that's basically the fill command, guys. Again, just be careful with it. It's very overpowered. I could I could destroy some stuff over here. And always remember to take into account that you can only fill in 32,768 blocks. So it'd be nice if you could just fill in the entire world, but that's unfortunately too many blocks for the command to handle. Only 32,768 blocks can be filled in at once. All right, and just a final note on the fill command. If you want to fill in a block that's of like a different color, so let's see we have like concrete, wool, you know, blocks that can be different colors. You'll notice that if you go to the fill command and you simply type in concrete, only one option will show up because what you actually have to do is give it a number data value so that it knows what color you want. So in front of me right here, I have all the colors that each... I have all the numbers that each color corresponds to, so if you put a zero, it's white, orange. I'll just go by these slowly so you guys can get it. You guys get it. Basically, you have to see all the numbers, you go out here, in this white strip right here I have the fill command set for. So if I go into my fill command for that white strip, and I want the color to be, let's go with let's go with light green, lime green, it has to be 5. So we go in here, we hit right on the d-pad, concrete, space, and then put a 5, and then there you go, it'll turn to light green. And it doesn't prompt that at all on the side, so you wouldn't know to do that unless I told you, I guess. So there you go, see we, hit, we, hit, we turned it to 2, so it turns to purple. And basically, you guys got it, you just gotta, we wanna change it to 15, it'll turn black. So we go up here, we put a space. 15, there we go, it's now black. And yeah, this is basically the data values that you need to enter if you want different colors for wool, for concrete, for concrete powder, all blocks that have different colors because they won't show up on the side. So just letting you know that, that's kind of important to know. Here it is, you gotta know these numbers. But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments or any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below, obviously. I'm gonna end this video by summoning a giant cube of water behind me. Boom, there it is. Very satisfying to look at, but you guys know because we have the power of the fill command, we can actually just simply pull it up fill it in with air, and get rid of that giant cube of water. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you found it useful. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.